Ain't no gunshots, but they gettin' Hey, what's up you guys? It's Craft Farms here with another video and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, so first off, I just want to start by saying uh, sorry that I didn't have a video up for you Tuesday. Uh, I was not home. I was actually at my Nan and Papa's cabin slash my Papa's farm. The one that I'm making the map of. Good news. I got pictures. So I'm going to kind of show you guys some of these pictures and show you guys what I'm going to be doing and do some explanations of the stuff. So um, my uncle is farming my papa's land and you can see right there's tip of an auger. Uh, he started combining wheat on Monday and finished yesterday. Um, I'm recording this on Thursday. I just got home yesterday. But uh, so my papa had to help him seal the bins and stuff. And so I went around and took my pictures. So here's um, some of the electrical stuff for the grain bins, because uh, they all have fans on them. There's just a couple electrical boxes here. Uh, this is the flooring inside of the bins. Uh, we had to sweep some corn out. Uh, you can see there we kind of missed a piece and whatnot. And then the edges here. Here's the uh, bin fans. And then this is uh, before the door is shut. And then that's so you can get a grain vac in there. And then there's the door. You can see we were sealing it up here. And here's kind of like the ladder and a little box. Now this is a Quonset that is by the elevator. You can see it's kind of a neat design. And there's the back end of it. There's the garage door, opener and garage door. Uh, here's the elevator. You got some pictures of that. Did get some inside shots as well. This one, the camera was trying to focus on the light out there rather than the uh, dark in there. That's not what I to do. Here's a little piece. Um, I actually didn't know what this was at first. And then I asked my papa and he said that it's what, uh, when trucks didn't have hydraulics in them, that's what they'd use to tip them. And there's the uh, pit. And there's some stuff over there. I didn't quite, I didn't really go over there. Uh, I'm not going to need to do too much of that stuff. Yeah, so here's the inside and stuff. And then this is the uh, Temvik house. This is the little shed. Then there's a fire pit back there and some other stuff. And then we got the house. I had to kind of work, work around the trees in the backyard. And the front yard, really. So then this is at the farm. These are the grain bins. And then there's one of the Quonsets. And then this is the main shop here. And there's the front of it. This is up by the door. And the other side. And this is the inside of it. That's really the only shot that I need. The rest of it I can do from memory. Uh, there are two more sheds. And I'll show you guys those. <sighs> <clears throat> Get zoomed in here. I'm right there. So the ones that I did not get, well, this is up here. Yeah. The ones I didn't get is this shed here. This is the fuel shed. Uh, that's where all of the fuel tanks are. And then I didn't get this shed or this shed. But these three things I can all do from memory. And then the house, I'm not putting that same house there. 
I'm going to actually make a different house. Um, a lot different house. <laughs> If we go, yeah, they must have updated this. So yeah, here's the uh, bins. Um, oh, this is from when they were hauling out, uh, hauling the corn out of the bins and then getting uh, grill ready. Looks like. And then there's my uncle's spray rig. Uh, he has a custom spraying business. So you can see the six bins here. Um, I don't have a full measurement of this shed here. Uh, I'm gonna have to talk to my papa and you know just ask him how long is this quonset and you know how wide are these bins, how tall are they, all that good stuff. But I got plenty of other stuff that I can work on uh, beforehand. Didn't take any pictures of this stuff back here. Uh, yeah, this really is updated because the barn has fallen over here. And that fell over not too long ago. Uh, for all this stuff, I'm going to use some of Fetral J's, um, his rustic pack of American building stuff. I'm going to use some of those on that. And then just these other, you know, like these yards here and stuff. Those I'm going to um, just kind of make them different, I guess. Oh, look at this. I think this is probably different than the actual other Googler. Oh, I can't zoom in far enough to see. Yeah, I can't zoom in far enough. Maybe I can here in Giants Editor. Let's check that out. That's not what I want. I want the backup sign and pull. Let's see. Okay, ninety six. There we go, let's get that all blown up. It's going to go a lot faster. Oh, uh, yeah, can't see there either. So yeah, and then um, I have done a couple of things here on the map. Now this is just kind of an update video. Uh, I'm not going to do any work in this video. Just gonna kind of show you guys some updates. <clears throat> so yeah, um, we have. I think there's fifteen fields in right now. I remember correctly. Yes. No. Thirteen. Okay, I thought I had a lot more in. Um. Yeah. So you can see we have a lot of the fields in, and I have a long ways to go yet. But we're getting closer, a lot closer. So yeah, the farm would be right about in here. So I do need to do some more smoothing in there and some other places, but we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, hmm. I don't think I've added or changed anything in town other than uh, we have new grain bins. Uh, these are the ones from Random Sparks' 2,000 subscriber uh, building pack release. 
And then we got the Sioux logos on there because that's what the real elevator has. Uh, they have Sioux grain bins. And then we have the scale and the grain probe. Never did figure out what the animation issue is with that thing. Uh, hopefully I can figure it out soon. Um, the all that's updated in town. Uh, I do need to change this yet, which I suppose we could actually do that right now. So I guess we might do a little work. We'll do some stuff. Let's go models, town object, fire department, and we need this. We're going to have to do a little bit of fancy schmancy stuff here. Maybe. Let's go. Nope. That. We can delete that and fill it in. Not quite the same, but, well, actually, I think I did see a better fire department somewhere. What kind of was it? Hmm. <laughs> Let's go like this. Fire department. That we don't want to see. Images. Hmm. That's not going to quite bring up what I wanted. Well, that's Illinois, that's not... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I'll just leave it and say the heck with it. But, yeah. Um, and I do have some new pieces. We have this tool shed. Uh, this is going to be used on like some of the surrounding farms and stuff like that. Um, and we got this shed here from American Eagles Modding. I'm probably going to end up changing the textures just because I don't really like the brown and the dark blackish. The roof will probably stay the same, but I'm probably going to change a lot of the, you know, like this and this and this. Maybe. Because what I might do, or maybe I'll just leave it. We'll see. We'll see what happens uh, when I get to it. And then we have this granary and corn crib uh, building here. I did close the doors on it, and it did have triggers in here. But I just got rid of those because I'm not going to need them. Um, you can see here's the... Great, and then it goes down into the auger, which goes over to here, and augers it all the way up here. And then over into the corn crib. Yeah, we got that. Yeah, new. Oh, we got some evergreen trees here. I think that's what this is anyways. I don't know. It says fir tree, but... We got a tree. 
Uh, we got a mole hill. Which is going to add some neat details to it. You can see we got a little mole even. Uh, I gotta turn my speed down again. Uh, we're looking at objects. Um, what next? We have this new corn texture, which I'm not gonna use. I'm going to use the real corn and soybean texture. Uh, we have some textures here. I have some different textures that I'm gonna maybe use, and some I may not. Uh, here we have the power line. Uh, this is done by Serious Mods, and then this is the the line is from a uh, pack on Mod Hoster. I just did some adjusting with the setups, and now I have have my power line set up that the um, arrows to move it aren't like way over there or something. Way off to the distance, and then I have my power lines. Uh, yeah, corn soybean texture here. I have a little ruined house. Then it also does have um, the good house, which is, I think, what I'm going to be after, probably. I don't know if I'm going to use the ruined one or not. I might. We'll see. And we got some more trees here. Uh, this is for by the farm, especially. There's a lot of trees like this one there. Um, and then... That's it. We have a little wheat and barley extra there. So, yeah. So, what I'm going to be doing is getting started on some of these. Uh, probably these electrical boxes to start off with. Um, or, no, I'm actually going to start with the Temvik stuff. So, uh, what I'm going to do right now is get to work on some fields. Oh yeah, um, let's see, I need to set the timer for how long? 12 minutes. That's not the time. That. Okay, so, where's my box at? Right, so I think I'm going to be on this field here, way back here. Oh, it's dice. Okay. Um, I, that I'm probably not going to answer. Uh, so yeah, um, I'm trying to think of where my uncle's combine. I think it was this field right here. No, no, it wasn't. It was this field. Uh, he was combining in this here field. Yep, it was because we came around this corner and header trailer and stuff were sitting here and he was up over there. So yeah, uh, this is, was my uncle's wheat field. I don't know what other wheat fields he had, but, uh, and then he was combining there and then uh, my papa's brother was combining in here in that field. So yeah, we're going to be working on these little guys here today, I think. Let's find it out. I put our speed back up at 60. Okay, yes, so we need to work on those fields back there. We need our attributes and our... No, right.
our visibility back on that. And bring this up a little bit. Yeah, so I need to work on these fields back. Starting with this little bit. Okay. Yep, I gotta start with this field. Let's check this one. Yeah, everything's changed. Uh, a lot of the stuff isn't changed because a lot of it's just like some yard changes like here you can see they got one of the hoppers out they have a school bus there for whatever reason and then the other hopper sitting there the air seeder was out and they must have been getting ready to spray as well yes yeah, so this field it's got a little grass area right there it's got a little tree right This, this needs to be terrain detail, square, it needs to be, yeah. Put a thing there, a thing there. I need to get the grass off of it. There, there. Okay, so now we can go back to terrain detail. Switch our brush to be round, around a corner. Perfect. All right, there's that one done. Okay, switch that to square again. And go back to grass. Right now, turn our visibility back on for this. We need to go down to here. Oh, I guess that's still on grass. That's all right. Alright, now we bring this up to connect the other section. So I didn't take any pictures of the equipment because most of it was out and about uh, with harvest. <clears throat> That and we were kind of running out of time. We had to get going uh, because we had somebody that was coming out to look at some stuff on the deck out at my Nana and Papa's cabin because uh, recently they built a garage. Um, I actually helped start it last fall. I think it was, yeah, last fall. And then uh, had to quit because school started. So then I um, didn't get to help finish. But it's mostly finished now. He's just got some fixes and stuff to do. And then uh, work on getting the deck to wrap around from the front of the house to the garage 
So that way you can just walk straight into the garage. And I don't remember what size the garage is, but it's pretty big. Uh, my stepdad actually designed it. That's kind of cool that it was designed by my stepdad. I helped build it. A lot of fun. Okay, so we're going to go about to there. Okay. Bring detail back. We are grass. Make this a little bit bigger. I can see that. Okay, so now go back to rain detail. go now go like that go around go awesome possum do we want to go around and grass got some grass missing That back to ten and square. Uncheck that. I'll see how far this goes. About there. Okay, so now let's make our way over to that little point and okay. and go back to our grass. So I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, real farming video that I had out. Um, I think it was Saturday I had that out. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I got a lot of feedback on it, so that's always awesome. A lot of requests to do more, and uh, I will, guys. Um, I just don't know the next time that'll be there, and I don't know what we'll be doing next time I'm there. So uh, that's just kind of, you know, you know, make uh, make it. It's all gonna depend on that, so to say, so to speak. Jeez, if I can even speak today. Alright, so then we need to go to about there, there, and again I did that same thing, I forgot to switch back. So this needs to go there, just like that. Do I grass? That's what I was trying to get.
Okay, so now we'll connect. Okay, so video timer went off, but I'm not sure if I'll end yet. I'll finish this field. What I'll do. And these are way off. All right, now we'll go back to our grass so we can add and remove some. Put that back to 10, turn off grass. Okay, so this field down. Gotta switch to terrain detail first. Not there. Alright, so now we'll bring this down. That How far over this goes? Get up there. Just kind of a little bump out. You know what? I'm actually going to go just a little bit further. Okay, so now we'll bring this all the way over there now. So the outline is what takes the longest on these fields. Um, once you get the outline done, then the rest of the field is 
pretty quick and easy. Grass, tulip in, knock out some grass. A couple spots. That way we can tell where we're going. It'd be nice if when you select terrain detail and are making fields, it'd be nice if the uh, grass just deleted alongside of it. That'd be so much easier. Both to see and it'd be a time saver as well because I wouldn't have to spend so much time sitting here going back and removing all this grass. All right, and there is field outline. <clears throat> so now we'll go along here. We'll go along and remove any grass that you may have missed. Some over here. I don't want to make this video too much longer. It won't take long to finish up this field here. There we go. So now that that's done, what we can do, we can set this to 15, which is a little bit bigger. Just big enough. You can just kind of go along this edge here. Look out some of this grass. And normally what I'd do is I'd go back around and do field, but I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set this to 25. And just get rid of this grass. Hyperspeed. So I'm not going to be putting the um, 
trigger, the buy trigger and the map indicator and all that stuff on here yet uh, because I need to have the pathway into the field. And before I can add that, I have to add the um, farm that goes right here. I guess actually, no, I don't. It just continues off of that path. So this video will be a little longer. What are we at? Uh, we're at 40 minutes. Okay. So you don't have to zoom in for this. This you can just kind of go like that. Well. I think we're going to bump this up to 50 so we can really knock out some acres. Okay, now we got to bring it down. 20 fine. Alright, and there we have another field done. So now, bring this down to four. Put this as round, this as gravel, like this. Oh, man. So, the field entrance is right about there where it curves. So, right here. We actually need to get rid of a little bit of this. Grass. Add all this back in. Okay, so now this needs to be gravel. Bring that back down to four. And if we just kind of come in like this. Perfect. I did get a little bit far here. Kind of get rid of that. Go under that. Go to size five. I think should work. Five's working pretty well. I'll knock out all this. Okay, now we'll drop this down to 0 0.5, turn our grass back on, and I think if we just kind of start about here, we'll just run a strip of grass. Actually, I need to enlarge this a little bit. All right, there we go. Now, we can get rid of that. Now if we go fields, we need field 14. We'll bring this over here to our position.
Alright, so now we need the field map indicator, which is what brings the number. And I'm just gonna stick that there. We'll bring it down to the ground a bit. We'll go like that. There we go. And there's another field done. So yeah. Uh, that's about gonna that's gonna about do it for me uh, for this video thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed the video hit that thumbs up button for me if you're new to the channel make sure that you subscribe and uh, make sure you turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video video schedule is Tuesdays and Thursdays at 4 p.m. Central time Saturdays at noon at Central um, Make sure you check out down below in the description for links to all my social medias, my mod site, and other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you.